Hey, I'm Tony K. Welcome to Transformation School. I'm going to try to make this a very short video on removing kibble on this Transformers The Last Night Voyager class Optimus Prime figure in order to make him more screen accurate. So, I'm cutting this piece of film in here because the whole modification process took a lot longer than I'd wanted it to and the comparison part of a video is my favorite part. So we're going to put in the comparison section now and then after that we will go over the modification process. Now the glue on the feet is still drying. I've had to glue them a couple of times because I only used a little bit of super glue so that I can pop the feet off later and put all the truck kibble back on. So hopefully the glue is cured enough right now that the feet won't fall off while we compare these guys. But we can see our modified Optimus is much slimmer and sleeker than our transformable Optimus. But his look is really from the front. From the side he is super thin, very flat backed. Although, you know, you decide if you don't care about transforming your Optimus, does this look alright? Are you going to display him from the side? From the back? His backpack is super cleaned up now. We don't have the truck top. We don't have the doors as wings. Uh, we don't have this whole fender wheel section. Uh, we also took off this portion with the truck wheels. Now we have an open cavity in the back. However, we can this leg doesn't bend to 90 degrees because of this wheel section but this leg does get a 90 degree bend now without any ankle rocker or ankle tilt can't imagine how dynamic your poses might get and then I could have pushed the pin out make sure we can see it, I could have pushed the pin out on this black piece that connects to his foot. I didn't want to go through that effort since I am going to make this guy transformable once again. But this does provide a bit of a fill-in for his back of his leg maybe. I don't know, or it's just more kibble that you might want to get rid of if you want to go through with this modification on your own. I'm going to snap a couple of quick photos for the thumbnail for this video. And you could go way further with this mod, do lots of paint apps, um, cut these smokestacks down because they should barely be poking out from behind his shoulders, uh, do all sorts of sculpting and detail work on the back, fill in the open cavity on his arms, fill in the open cavity on his, the backs of his legs. Uh, I mentioned a moment ago pulling out this black piece here, um, trying to put more detail on this back there. but just for a super simple mod. You can see what we came up with here. So our last night Voyager Optimus is not the worst Voyager class Optimus figure ever made. But it is not the best Voyager class Optimus figure either. However, this might be the most screen accurate uh, transformable Optimus Prime uh, in the style from Age of Extinction and the last night. Uh, the details on uh, this first edition chest and details on this guy's chest and arms just do not compare to the details we got on this figure. Um, I know there's an upgraded version of this leader class Optimus that was only available in um, Asia markets. Uh, you can get it on eBay and TF Source. You can get an oversized KO of that upgraded version uh, done by Kubian Bao, the KBB uh, figure. But um, even that one, I don't think, has quite the sculpted detail that this guy has. In terms of screen accurate detail, you will not go wrong with a dual model kit, provided you have the patience and the fortitude to assemble this non-transforming model. Highly articulated and poseable, yes. Uh, transforms into a truck, no. I had just gotten my dual model kit, Age of Extinction Optimus, a few months ago, but have not yet had the time or the patience to assemble this guy. He's coming though, it'll happen. May or may not happen on video. 
So that covers everything I wanted to address in the comparisons. Now let's get to work on our modification. We're going to start with the easiest parts. A couple of ball jointed pieces that'll pop off. Let's see, let's unclip, unpeg this fender section. Rotate the foot out of the way. And this piece for truck mode is not needed for robot mode. We'll swing the foot back and pop this great big tire piece off that ball joint. And repeat on the other side. And this helps make the figure more screen accurate because the robot mode design of this Optimus Prime does not have any truck kibble except say for some much shorter smokestacks. Okay, the next easiest pieces, I'll set my sword to the side. These door panels are pinned, they're pinned through the blue, but they're only tabbed in on the gray. There's two teeny tiny little bumps there that hold this panel in. Now we're going to work with a screwdriver to remove this big top section of the truck. We'll fold the chest down, remove these two screws from the chest, try to separate the back half of the torso from the front half of the torso. Oh, head came out. No big deal. Can't get these screws to fall out. Can't really even get this side out. The screw just won't pop out. Well, poop. I don't even have to take it all the way off. I just had to give myself enough clearance to get these pegs out. Now I can screw this chest back together. And that screw's not going back in. Lame. I'm doing this off camera. Okay, I'll put his head back on. Pull his chest back up. Put this piece back on that just came off. What's left? Uh, I don't think that's screen accurate at all. But if we take it off, he will be left with a gaping opening in the bottom of his forearm. Give it a shot. It's pinned through the red, but just pegged or tabbed in to the blue. And that pops right out. Pull the shield off and try the other one. Oh, geez. All right. I was just trying to unhinge it, and it came right off. Next, that is the majority of our little mod for making this guy more screen accurate. It also makes him a lot skinnier. The next piece may or may not be a good idea. That is taking these wheels off the back, which should increase his knee articulation to a full 90 degrees. However, his foot is attached to these wheels. So, if we take these off, we can unscrew this piece holding his foot on, and then we can put his foot... I mean, we kind of have a slot, kind of have a tab and a slot, but there isn't a lot of friction there, so the foot would probably fall right off. But we're going to give it a try. I'm going to pop the wheels out. I've got a screw here. Not sure if there's a screw up here. Let's get this wheel off and figure that out. Yep, two screws. I'm having a lot of trouble getting this screw out. 
This screw right here is being difficult. I need to push this way on the plastic to help the screw come out. Okay, making some progress on the screw off camera. The crosshairs are completely stripped out. So, I've been getting the screw out by applying leverage on the screw with this wheel well tire leg piece and rotating it. And this has been unscrewing it, probably stripping some threading on the plastic, but I'll live with it. Okay. We still need to get the foot off of this piece. We get a screw to remove here. The screw is out, but this gray bit is not coming off. Is it supposed to? Is it glued on or pegged in? Just trying to apply some pressure to see if that gray piece will pop out so I can get this foot off. Interesting. I'm going to get a utility knife. If friction is just holding this in, this gray piece, then I'm hoping that with the blade I'll be able to get in under the edges of it and pop it out. If glue or some sort of adhesive is holding it in, then I'm probably going to break it. But in the name of science, or not science, engineering, yes, in the name of engineering, I sacrifice this toy. Well, it's digging up the plastic a little bit, but doesn't seem to be freeing the piece. Oh, this piece does not seem to be coming loose. Okay, now I'm going to try a flathead screw bit down at the base of this cylinder, the screw port. Let's see if I can get that to free up a little bit. It just seems to be chewing up the plastic. I really don't want to break it, but I really do want to check out one more thing on this figure with this foot off before before I determine whether or not our mod is complete. Okay, work on this off camera for a minute. Or maybe not, because if it breaks, I want to see that on film. Okay, got my foot up. And this gray piece is almost out. Got a lovely mushroom peg at the top here. Yep. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure if that was friction or glue, but the blue post that should be here is now broken off inside of this gray piece. So when I put this back, I shall glue it on! <laughs> Funny. If it wasn't glued before, it will be now. That's okay, after I get this thing fixed up. And finish this video. I have this guy on the shelf for the, uh, when the Bumblebee movie comes out in 2018. I won't even remember breaking this piece and gluing it back on. because I have selective memory. We're gonna set this off to the side.
We're gonna look at this foot on this robot. So we've got this little tab here and a slot, half a slot. And this is just not gonna stay in here very well, completely. You could glue it in. I'm wondering if we flip up this great big black heel spur, would that do anything to help the foot stay in place? Tap it together, close this, nope, black piece isn't really closing. That did nothing to help it. We could glue the foot on, but then that would prevent me from putting this guy back together and transforming him again someday because he's got glue. His foot would be on permanently. Let's check him out so far. Clear some kibble out of our way. We're looking at this guy. He's got less bulk on his leg but he's getting less truck bits as well, making him more screen accurate. We turn him to the side. He's pretty skinny because he lost all that bulk on his back and behind this leg. We look behind this leg, very hollow. Definitely very hollow. Uh, again, we can glue this foot on you don't want it to come off so you can like put them in a nice dynamic pose. We do get our 90 degree knee bend now so that's a pleasure. Just kind of wish that turning up this black piece would help lock the foot into place. Nothing of the sort. Take a look at taking this other leg off. Well, but then again, I don't know, do I want to have two broken gray pieces here? Because I really don't. I don't want to have two broken gray pieces. As fun as this little mod has been, I think I would prefer to have him transformable, despite all those big gangly truck bits hanging off. I don't know. I would like to do a photo session with this guy without any bits on him. So I could, I mean I could glue this thing. I do just a tiny little dab of glue and then do my photo session and then snap it, pop it, wherever it's glued at, and then put all the pieces back on so this guy is transformable again. This very short video is taking an awful long time. I shall stop the film to ponder. Okay, I've decided. I'm gonna go through with it. I'm even gonna use just a tiny little bit of glue for the feet so I can take some cool photos. Tweaked my lighting a little bit too. So. Previous procedure, pop the wheels off. Remove some screws, try not to strip these out. All right, so these heads look good. So I shouldn't have any doubt as to whether or not it's my fault if these are stripped out. It is totally my fault. I'm using a different screwdriver tip this time. Seems a little pointier and sharper. Hopefully it won't strip them out, pH zero. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Phillips zero. Philip or Phillips with an S, with or without an S, I don't know. This screw came right out, that is fantastic. Tremors are super shaky, I haven't eaten yet. I wanna film and then work out and then consume protein shakes. 
And I don't want to have a full belly before I exercise. But this short video is not taking, it's taking way longer than I had hoped, so... Meh. All right, this one came out easy. Hey, maybe this uh, gray piece will come off more easily. Or maybe I'm just gonna have to break it like the other one. So I'm gonna start by separating the pieces on the edges. I might shake a little less if I brace my hands on the table. So right now I'm just trying to apply enough stress to break off the blue tab in here. The previous blue tab I had tried, blue tab, blue post, whatever I want to call it. I tried using the flathead screwdriver. So if I can get this one to break as well or even better than the previous one, I will be mildly content. I just thought of two new slogans for Candle Comics or for Transformation School. Fixing toys is what I do, and breaking toys is what I do. Oops. Okay. And we broke it. We're so good. Yep. Glued all around here. Probably glued up in this post. Whatevs, you guys. Whatevs. And just glue it back on when I'm done. Put this little screw in here, keep this piece together. Okay, let's look at the feet. Now this is the foot that goes over here, but I'm wondering if I put the foot on the other foot, on the other leg, if this black piece will click in any better. Nope, not at all. Not any better or any worse. Perhaps actually worse. So, we're gonna do a little glue. I actually almost seem to friction on just a little bit. But not enough. Glue. I'm gonna put a little dab of glue on this round space in front of the tab. Oh, that's actually a bigger dab than I wanted. Okay, teeny tiny dot, maybe a little bigger than that. And then that is going to adhere to a little bit of flat space in front of the slot. It's not very secure at all. And that is the point. The point is that I want to uh, do some photos, show this guy off, and then take the foot back off and make this guy a transformable figure again. If you were trying to make this more permanent, you definitely want to use more glue, maybe even like some sort of rubber cement or something. Liquid nails, I don't know, because there's a lot of space up in here. You can see between the gray and the blue plastic, it's not a perfect fit. So just using super glue might not give you the secure bond that you want if you're trying to make this figure permanent. Also, if you're trying to make this figure permanent, you might try tapping this pin out with a hammer and a nail or something so that you can then remove this black part altogether. I figure I'm going far enough. I think I might like a little bit of beef behind his foot since his leg is so hollow. He's got like some huge cankles now. Maybe we'll just say that's his calf. That's a soccer calf. All those calves should really be up here. So yeah, he's got cankles. I like it though. I like his cankles. T 
Teen Titans have cankles. I saw that episode. Go. A little dab of glue here. Fighting with the shaky hands. I'm gonna want this glue to dry for a little while before I start posing them for photos. Dare I do my P90X and then come back to do photos? Because I shake a lot more after I exercise. So, oh man. Tremors, essential tremors. What a nuisance, huh? Okay, so I just I want this to brace or something until the glue can tack up. Maybe I should have done one foot at a time. Let the glue dry or cure for an hour. I'll just hold this until it seems like the glue has made a bond. And then we will shall walk away from it. Yeah, normally I like to super glue things for 24 hours, but hopefully after an hour this will be strong enough to stand them up. And of course the sooner that I get the photo session done, the sooner I can pop these feet back off. Those are not falling off right now, so I'm gonna let those uh, dry. If I say it's gonna be an hour, if I say I'm gonna go do my, uh, what's next? Legs and back routine. If I start something now, I probably won't end up filming any more of this for like another two or three days. And by telling you that, hopefully I shall succeed in filming in just an hour or two. We'll see. Well, it's been almost a week since I glued this foot on. And this foot, I glued it on twice and it keeps coming off. And that's because we noticed earlier that there's a bit of a gap in here. Uh, so the little dab of glue that I put on there both times wasn't enough to keep the glue, to keep the foot on the leg. I could cover this thing with super glue or even rubber cement, maybe something else, some other adhesive uh, to really get the foot to stay on if I was going to make this permanent. However, I do plan to put all the kibble back on so that I do have a transformable Optimus. And I wanted to do a photo session with this guy, but I'm not going to do that. If I get this video finished, then that is an accomplishment. I will celebrate uh, the photo sessions, just I gotta pass on it. Now I'm gonna film the comparisons, which you will have already saw, uh, as I explained at the beginning of the video. And then, uh, once I'm done filming that, we'll cut from this segment into reassembling this guy into truck mode. Now that I've finished filming the comparison section, which I'd shown earlier in the video, I'm gonna get to work on undoing our modification. And in fact, once I get these pieces all laid out, I shall film, and well, I'll photograph these parts for the thumbnail. Now, where do we begin? Try to do this in approximately reverse order. First, I gotta snap off these feet that I've glued on so many times. Uh, since super glue makes a chemical bond with plastic and kinda chemically melts the plastic, I might end up shaving that with a razor if the pieces don't fit together like they should. We won't know that until we are ready to transform him. Screwdriver, let's see. I think I'm gonna reattach this. I will work on gluing this together toward the end of the process. Hmm. Now this screw head is here is stripped out. We stripped that out earlier. So it's gonna take some work to get that back in. Apply a lot of pressure maybe. I really had to apply a lot of force to get that stripped screw back in. So I did that off camera. I didn't quite get it in all the way, but I think it's good enough. Put a wheel on. It spins. Put a wheel on this one. Spins. Next leg. Okay. No problem putting in either of those screws. Okay. 
And next, you got these gray pieces. Which way do these go? Hmm. Let's see. Goes this way. Good. And this one. No problems there. Next, let's do, oh, let's do the, uh, hmm. yeah, let's do this back panel. Open the chest. Loosen the screws. Now these screws, screws might have gotten a bit stripped out earlier. I just need to separate the dark gray and the light gray pieces enough to fit these pegs back in. There we go. So I'm going to try to tighten up my stripped chest screws. Don't know if that'll happen. Lots of pressure like that stripped screw on the leg. And I'm not really sure if that's doing any good. Should be fine. I'll play with this guy. Shouldn't even notice. Head back out. Next, put his door wings back on. And let's just have a little bump to friction those in. And do these panels for the forearms. Let's see. Make sure we put them on in the right position. I'm going to transform his arms. Next, we got to work on putting the feet back in place. That's going to require some super glue. Slide the foot in. I think I'm going to prep both. Well, no, I should prep one side at a time because I don't want to accidentally lose or mix up this little gray piece. 
I'll screw the screw back in. I don't want to get any super glue on this black piece because that has got to rotate for a transformation. I'm going to put some glue on this white stress mark broken piece here. Oh, that's a lot of glue. All right, I'm going to put all this glue over where the screw is at. I'm going to smear it all around. This little dab over here. This little dab along here. A little dab over here. If it gets on the black stuff, then hopefully just going through the transformation process will pop the black part free without doing this, without separating this gray piece from the blue piece, hopefully. I'm just gonna hold this on for a minute. Okay. Seems like that was not enough glue. Just enough glue to glue it to my fingers, but not to the figure. So let's add some glue here, and a little right here, and around here, and up here. Let's try this again. Now we are going to glue on this other piece. I'm going to start by putting the screw back in. Unless that actually screws it into the leg. Wouldn't that be something? No, nope, because that was all broken off. Put some glue on this blue piece. Here, there, there, there. Next, put this on. Now some glue on the gray piece. Glue around here, glue here, glue around this piece, some glue, now we're out of focus, some glue here, hold this piece on, oh man there's glue into my finger. Rotate the black piece around a little bit. So that should not have any glue on it. We're gonna let that glue dry, start filming our barricade video, and then come back after this glue is dried for a couple of minutes, hours, days, I don't know, and pop these fender pieces back on. So it's been about an hour. I filmed my next video, the hidden weapon storage for the barricade figure. On one of these, the black part did seem to get glued in, so I had to really brace the gray and the blue with a lot of strength and pressure and turn the black part to get it to pop, to get that glue to pop. And now it's rotating pretty well. The other one I didn't have any problem with, didn't get any glue on the black part. So next we need to reapply our front wheel and front fender and then make sure this guy can transform. So we just have a ball joint, clip that on here, and tab it in on the front. Same on the other side. Okay, so we've got Optimus Prime fully reassembled and unmodified. Let's go through our transformation process just to make sure everything is cool beans. I'm gonna start with the chest, fold down his nice beefy pectoral muscles and his head, turn in his arms, rotate his shoulder panel, shoulder guard, shoulder pad. Shoulder pads are so 80s. Fold that up not tabbing in very easily. Let's try the other side. Good. Oh, 
There we go. Turn his forearms together. Move these panels in. Tie them together. They don't have a very strong connection yet. Bring the door panels over. Rotate the waist. Fold up the groin flap. Bring the legs back. Untab this front wheel section. Unfold, rotate the leg, bring the gray piece around. Rotate the foot around. Turn the foot in. Rotate the front grill of the truck around. Fold the leg under. Rotate the front end of the truck around. Same on the other side. Turn the leg. Untab the front wheel. Untab the foot. Rotate the foot. Turn the foot in. Tab it in. Rotate the front of the grill of the truck around. And rotate the whole front of the truck around. Rotate this gray piece of, oh, pop the gray piece out because it's only in a ball joint. And ball joints pop out and pop back in. We can tab these legs together. Go to the front of the truck. I'm very tremory right now, doing my best. Move the camera down, zoom in just a little bit, focus. Tab together the arms and the legs in this fashion. Let's look underneath, what's missing? This foot needs to move in a little bit. We can tab this in here. Move this door panel back out. Legs are tabbed. Tab in the doors. Tab in the roof. I am transformed. Weapon storage, shield, and the tail section. Sword on the bottom section. Fantastic. So we modified him, unmodified him, he's now transformable once again. That was fun and uh, for display purposes the modified figure would look fantastic without a whole bunch of kibble. And if he's only on display then there's no need to transform him. Awesome! That's it for today's class, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Class dismissed.